the first few years when I came, I actually struggled. I thought there was like an unwritten law somewhere that if you believe, then let it just be between you and your God. And I'm shocked because <laughs> we are like from different countries, but we all like think or exper experiencing the same thing. It's curious for me, like, wow. Before I even started university, I was a bit scared. I didn't really talk about my fate. I was a bit lost in the beginning. My first year, I was definitely sort of cautious. It's a big topic at university, but it's so difficult to talk about it. I think this is what the world should learn from, coming to sit together and talk. If we can do yeah. that alone, yeah. <laughs> I think there will be some progress. Well, I don't know about you guys, but in my school, in a philosophy class, the teacher like asked to have like a debate about abortion. I said that I was against abortion because the teacher asked us. And yeah, I even like received a death threat to the point where we were getting death threats online, people wanting to know who like who was running this social media account, which was me. Wasn't the best messages to be receiving. A lot of people, they have in mind an image of Christians, which is quite old. And um, honestly, I thought Christians would be boring. It seems unnecessary, I guess. I had Christian friends where I'm like, what you're saying is, I don't think it's correct. Spain has a very hard background. When you say you're a Christian, they automatically go to Franco. Probably. There are some among us who have not presented the message properly. When you speak the truth or what you believe to be the truth, there is a way of saying. And if your way of saying is, is offensive, then of course people will not like you. I'm considering Christianity, but also trying to come to an understanding of it through my own experiences and conclusions. Everyone wants to know the truth, it's, it's our way of, of life. You know how you're going to work through your difficulties if you are open to talk with somebody with a different opinion. And that's, that's not healthy for society. I don't know if it's only for Christians. I think it can also be related to politics. So in the past, if people were judged based on the color of their skin, maybe in the future people could be judged because they have religious beliefs. Freedom of speech is it's not only about uh, religions, but also on every topics in life. Which approach would you take to make a change? 